Against the background of the American statements that they are not going to engage in a direct military clash in the Middle East, Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, took a step, indicating that a big war in this region of the world with the participation of the United States will not be avoided. So, on Friday evening, during a press conference with U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, Prime Minister of Israel Benjamin Netanyahu made a very disturbing statement. In particular, he said that Israel will never forgive or forget the atrocities that have been committed against the Jewish people for decades. Moreover, the Israeli Prime Minister also added that at the moment, Israel's enemies get struck by unprecedented force and that Israel's counteroffensive in Gaza is just the beginning. This phrase of the Israeli Prime Minister, this is just the beginning, caused concern and heated discussion in the world expert community. Experts began to wonder what Benjamin Netanyahu really meant and how, in his opinion, the next confrontation in the Middle East should end. My friends, in order to understand what the Israeli Prime Minister is up to, we need to pay attention to the war zone, including the northern border of Israel, where a large concentration of Hezbollah militants is recorded, ready to invade the territory of the Jewish state at any moment. It may seem to many of you that the opening of a second front in the north of the Jewish state is the worst scenario for Israel, and that the Israel Defense Forces will not be able to stop the well-armed offensive units of Hezbollah, which are supported by Iran itself. Moreover, many military experts are also confident that in the event of the opening of the Second Front, the Israel Defense Forces will find themselves in a very difficult situation, and that without direct U.S. military intervention, Israel will not be able to repel the attacking enemy forces. However, the last few days have shown that the Israeli authorities, led by Benjamin Netanyahu, are doing everything to provoke Hezbollah's invasion of the northern part of the Jewish state. Over the past few days, the Israeli Air Force has launched missile strikes not only on Syria, but also on the territory of Lebanon, trying to accelerate the invasion of Hezbollah. However, the leadership of Hezbollah has explicitly stated that it will enter the war only if Israel crosses a number of red lines, one of which is a ground operation in the Gaza Strip and the physical elimination of the Hamas leadership. And as we can see, Benjamin Netanyahu is doing everything to make this happen. The Israeli Prime Minister not only began to prepare the Israeli Defense Forces for a ground operation in the Gaza Strip, but also ordered the Israeli military located in Ukraine to return immediately. All this indicates that it is Benjamin Netanyahu who is escalating the conflict and trying to unleash a big war with the participation of the United States on the side of Israel. The fact is that Benjamin Netanyahu understands perfectly well that the United States can afford to lose Ukraine and even Taiwan. However, the United States will never agree to the loss of Israel in war, and for this, Washington is even ready to enter into a direct confrontation with Iran. Moreover, 90% of Israelis believe that Benjamin Netanyahu is the main culprit in the current tragedy of the Jewish state and the Hamas attack on Israel. Many believe that Benjamin Netanyahu should not only resign, but also receive a real prison sentence for catastrophic miscalculations that led the country to the edge of the abyss. Thus, it becomes clear that it is the Prime Minister of Israel who benefits from the start of a big war in the Middle East, which should unite the Jewish people around the war hero and liberator, Benjamin Netanyahu, who, as the winner, will be forgiven for all his past miscalculations. 
However, it remains unclear whether the United States and Israel will be able to emerge victorious in this war. And it seems that Washington is also concerned about this issue, trying in every possible way to delay the start of Israel's ground operation in the Gaza Strip.